Hey guys, Strike here, welcome back to Kingdoms of Amala Re-Reckoning. Now, in the last one, we drugged a dude so much that his identity crisis just became permanent. Now he forgot who he was entirely. And also, we joined the Warsworn, or at the very least, we tried to join the Warsworn. They seemed to hate us way more than the Fae ever did, and the Fae basically allowed us to become Lord immediately. Despite us being mortal, who they absolutely think they're a thousand times better than, but whatever, whatever, okay, let's not question it. And now, at last, it is time to make our way into Arden's hut, something we've had the mission to do for several fucking decades, hello? Oh, oh, Arden's dead. I was about to say, I didn't really expect you to be, uh, who I was looking for. And what did you expect? I trailed a band of Tuatha to this place. They killed the Fate Weaver. I'm not so sure about that give one. Me an idea of why they were here. You were now prodding him very hardcore. They were hoping to find you. Why well, assume that I'm involved? Knowing you, you're definitely involved. You, you don't know me. This is the first time we ever I fucking know you met. Better than you knew yourself. Hmm. You knew the real me. Or pre-fucking absolute murder me? Look at my eyes! I look so nervous! It's like I've never, ever, ever seen a woman before. And honestly, I haven't. So, uh, how do you know me? Don't you remember me? I'm hurt. I'm hurt you that you don't feel the need to now. move your fucking you lips when you're talking to me. To move. I'm certain that we'll see one another again. Soon. Be on your way. I'd prefer if it was literally immediately. You seem like the fucking coolest person I've come across in the entire game. Oh, I'm so getting blamed for this one. Agarth, you're the first Fate Weaver I ever spoke to, right? We're buddies. I think I maybe protected you once or twice. Are you old and dead? Yeah, I can't read you. Okay, no point in that then. I could just leave and hopefully never, ever, ever get blamed for this, but that's dumb. Well, I guess he won't be using this anymore. Too faded to read. All this shit is useless. It's almost like he's been dead forever. Famed mages, I can take that. Did that count as stealing? Or is he just more than happy to allow me to have this now that he's, you know, the big dead and all? Famed mages of the Scolia Arcana. Part 1. The Early Years. Though the philosophy of the Scolia Arcana demands its adherence to sacrifice any form of personal gain for the sake of advancing the study of magic, there are not a few moments in history where extremely talented or notorious mages of the order have secured a position in the collective memory of Amala. It goes without saying that the founding members, Elodon Bloodgood, Marcus Torix, and Eleanor Brea are among this number, but there are yet others who, in their own way, have heralded themselves into the annals of legend. Notice how hard I try every single time to not make a joke about anal whenever that word comes up. I think you guys should be really proud of me. I feel very mature. Sodomy. Where better to start than with Evren the Bernhardt? During the early years of the Order, our ranks were dominated by the Alpha. His affinities for the magic for magic seemed limitless. Very rarely did the, did we humans sorry did we have humans save of course the founding members who had the magical capacity to withstand the rigors of initiation. When Evren, a small, almost sickly Almain, appeared in Rathir. It seemed the only way he would have gained admission into the Scolia was by the pity of his examiners. Not so. It was found that within for, it was found for within minutes of his arrival, he demonstrated for us an application of fire magic that had never been witnessed before. It was almost as if he pulled a star from the sky and slammed it into the earth with meteoric force. So he caused the fucking apocalypse burn down like a billion civilizations. He's just like, oh yeah, you seem cool. W welcome to the club. That's not good. <laughs> That's not good at all. The plants and soil that had once been there had been turned to glass and cinders under the under such heat. In time, we learned that, through, that though powerful, his skills were nearly uncontrollable, for they were innate. Eventually, we learned from his powers a new, more potent form of fire magic than was previously thought possible, and taught Evren the serenity needed to quell the raging fires within him. Then there was the Siren, a traveler with no name and no stories of her past life, of her past save for a knowing smile. That the Order discovered her existence is a miracle in and of itself. Allegedly, she was utilizing her comeliness in a less than savory manner in a small village in the Ice Brine. By chance, she met an initiate of our Order who, in what must have been a sudden burst of uncharacteristic indiscretion, accepted her proposal. 
A small song from her lips, and he realized she was using some form of magic to charm him into thinking she had earned his earned her coin. It took some convincing, but she agreed to some sessions of tutelage with the Scolia. But to this day, we still cannot truly fathom the sing-song spell she wove with, wove with her voice. So what, she was trying to convince him that he engaged in big suck? And uh, when she truly did not engage in said suck, that's really mean. You're a sneaky little prostitute, aren't you? And I, uh... I, for one, am very much on board with that. But the Scolia is remembered for its more peculiar members as well. So that's just completely normal, is it? The magical singing prostitutes. That just makes up 90% of your order? Yeah, understood. And members as well. Frontbert, which is already peculiar enough. The Miasmic was touted as a powerful mage long before he came to our order. Though none could say why. He submitted himself to the trial of initiation, and though he passed with some success, there was much confusion as to whether his reputation was deserved. When asked, he affirmed that it was, and offered to prove it by engaging in flatulence so for fuck's sake, so powerful as to propel him from the Pryderi all the way to the Scolia Arcana Courtyard. Surely, not the magic we had anticipated, but from Evron to Frunbert, oh, these great heroes have demonstrated magic's mutability and variety of forms, either in the anti-fuck form, or just the straight-up borderline shitting yourself form. Great. I said that- that book started out so fucking interesting, then you got to that guy and it was all ruined. Why, game? Fucking why? Aaron's dead. How did this happen? You sound so cut. you're not even blaming me. The Tuatha killed him. Why would they have come here? Why kill a harmless old fate weaver? They couldn't know that you were headed here. I mean, the stingy bastard owes me a week of drinks. Doesn't mean he deserved to be murdered. I was hoping to avoid this, but I think I'm going to have to take you to Delok. What's Delok? It's a sacred place to weave fate weavers. Somewhere that I was hoping to avoid. Can't you fucking weave I fate? Was Just look at his fate. You, See what happened through it that. Comes down to me. No reason getting anyone else killed over it. Go, I'll meet you there. Once I give Arden a proper funeral. You'll meet me, the dangerous now, fucking criminal, left in your whose fate you just straight up can't fucking read, and it's the only person in the entire world whose fate you can't read, which is suspicious enough in itself. You stumbled in on me, sort of just standing over the bloodied corpse of your best friend, and you're just like, oh yeah, go, go to jail yourself, buddy. I, I trust you, I trust you perfectly fine. What are you talking about? You are unbelievably stupid. But whatever, I appreciate it, I guess. Mm. And I've already finished my bottle of water, god damn. I hate being sick. I drink so fucking fast when I'm, uh, even in the slightest gooey. Mm. Well, there we go. And as much as I would absolutely love to go to jail, obviously, there are way more pressing matters, like joining the goddamn War Sworn. And I'm a Lord of the Fey! You can't just arrest a Lord of the Fey, can you? I guess they have their own Fate Weavers, but I highly doubt the Fey Fate Weavers are in any way connected with the, uh, with the shitty ones. I, I have no idea. By shitty, I mean humans. <laughs> it's probably kind of mean. I just, that they're, they're nowhere near as cool, are they? Meet Will Rendig and Dydenhill. But where am I? I somehow go right past Jovan? I'm in the Webwood. This is not what I planned at all. What the fuck is going on? Go back to the local map. Let's go to the log, actually. The Teeth of Naros. We don't need to do that, but we're not going to do that right now. The Agath Adelach. Oh, it wants me to go all the way over there. In which case, go fuck yourself. I'm doing a load of this shit. Speak to Halam the White. And where am I doing that? I'm doing that all the way down. Fuck me, this map is so big. Ah, the road patrol. Will Rendig and Dydenhill, well, I'm nearly there. I might as well do that now. And it sounds like Dydenhill is it's very much its own little area. I need to kill one of you, I'm so very sorry. I really don't want to, but for some reason I need you to give me head. Alright, there we go. Oh, it's all the way up here? Well, let's get ourselves a fast travel location before I make my way back there, because otherwise that's going to be really, really fr frustrating to have to just return to over and over and over and over and over. Whose camp is this? Man, what the fuck is going on? There is just so much to explore. I love it. 
I really, really do. Oh, and there's one of these I've walked right past. Aren't I just a genius? In the country of Nirilim's embrace, the summer manifests as an immortal fae. You know huh? her, him, it, as the resplendent warrior or the ardent conqueror. I really don't you think I do, sir. You named him King Issa. In the youth of your people's memory, you bore witness to Issa's exploits. He what, is so we your just legend the of sun or eminence. Come, listen to a tale of Issa and Om, the God Storm, the Withering War. I lost so many lockpicks there. I desperately need to buy some more, but I don't even know where I would go for that. Game, why are you so easy but so fucking mean when you don't need to be? Stop hurting me! Ah! Jesus, don't do that mid-animation! As if that animation isn't terrifying enough! Oh, you're a lot scarier than I expected you to be, I have to say. But at least you're vulnerable to, like, the one thing I'm absolutely best at. Get the fuck out of here! You know what? I expected to be very much spooked there. I expect to be very much pulled apart by a giant fucking spider, but that is, uh, that is not what occurred. I don't want to be going in here. I don't want to be going in here at all yet, but this apparently counts as Yolvan? Unless this counts as Yolvan? I, I can't, I can't figure out what the fuck's going on anymore. Apparently we needed an extra long loading screen for that. God, I'm spoiled. <laughs> I've had an SSD for so long that a loading screen that takes more than a second is extra long to me. What am I talking about? All right. Oh, I thought you were a person, but no. But no, you're a big dead boy. These look like the, the bones of a silk farmer that died at the hands of some spiders. I should see if I can give them a respectful bur burial somewhere near in the nearby town of Canarok. I mean, I could, but why? Why? Why would I do this to this random guy and not all the other skeletons we've ever seen across our relatively long playtime now? Wait, what? Oh, you don't fucking count. This doesn't count as a fast travel place. Well, I guess we're doing this first, and only then we shall give all of our head. To whatever the hell her name is, Nero, or something like that, right? Or am I thinking Baldur's Gate? I, th I think I'm thinking Baldur's Gate. Man, it's been so long since I played that game. But then again, I don't think that's even started being uploaded on channel yet. Oh no, what a fucking spoiler. Yes, I'm playing Baldur's Gate, and it's fucking amazing. Get the fuck out of here, please. Thank you. And I'm just gonna nuke you all. I can't believe how much I enjoy a good old-fashioned nuking. Oh, that didn't even hit you. Get out of here. <laughs> oh. Oh, man! It's the true Oleander Sinclair! I expected him to at least, you know, also be black. Like, no offense, buddy, but you're not doing a very good job of masquerading now, are you? Ah. Uh, what was it I just picked up? On the alchemy. Forward. There, are, there exists no greater pleasure in this world than taking the components of nature so generously. What? Taking the components nature so generously provides, and with perspicacity and precision, mashing them together to form something greater in its wholeness than in its component parts apart. After having spent over two decades of my life dedicated to the study and practice of alchemy, I consider myself an expert. As such, I have endeavored within these pages to catalog all that I have learned through years of study, hard work, and rigorous experimentation. Use its contents wisely. Signed, Oleander Sinclair, Savant of the Scolia Arcana. The book then goes on to list various alchemical recipes in meticulous detail. Oh, I hope to fuck that they've actually gone in. As my guy is totally useless when it comes to alchemy. But then again, like, why the fuck didn't fake Oleander? The dude who broke his goddamn skull open, even though his skull is looking relatively intact here, he just looks like a sleepy little sad boy. With grey hair, despite looking like 20 years old, but let's not question that. Um, but yeah, you would have assumed if he's trying to be Oleander, then he probably should have taken his fucking recipes with him, then he wouldn't need all the, uh, bullshittery I had to do for him. But whatever. Oh man, we're already becoming borderline full. I, I need an inventory capacity upgrade, it's gotta exist. Next time we get full, which I assume will be very, very soon, because I'm going through a dungeon, and every fucking dungeon I go through ends up ruining my life. Oh. Oh, are these the things that only respond to magic users or something? I still don't really know what the point of all that is, because, I mean, I know I'm a magic user. Does it, does it show off these guys? Does it prove that these are magic boys? I, I have no idea. Doesn't really seem to change anything to me, but oh well. Oh my god, I'm so terrified. 
Oh, why send the rogues at me? You're gonna have to send another fucking mage, or like an army of fucking mages to ever even stand a chance. And we're on the difficulty that used to be the hardest before the Enhanced Edition of uh, Re-Reckoning came out and gave it another extra, extra, extra hard um, uh, difficulty. But like, why? Uh, <laughs> I don't understand how or what the fuck's going on because it should not be this easy, surely. Damn it. At least I always get it on the second try, but we're so low on picks now. I don't know what I can even do about that. Oh well, let's see what we can find around here. Oh, it just takes me all the way to the outside? It's taking me into Glendara. There are so many places I want to go that I, do I don't want to go too far off the fucking beaten track. There's so many things I need to do and I feel like this is a way into, uh, this incredibly overpowered bullshit that I'm not ready for. What do you now take me back into? I guess literally everything? Because that's where the vast majority of my quests take place? Oh man, look at this! This place is visually fucking stunning though. Runs like us, but then so does the entirety of this game for some reason, despite it being, I don't know, eight fucking years old? What's wrong with you? Are you just the same boggards I've been dealing with? Ah! You're not a boggard! You are not a boggard at all! I have no idea what you are, but you're horrible! The fuck out of here. What's oh, a bar guest? You know, I always assumed they were Witcher only enemies. I guess it's just sort of a generic fantasy thing that I didn't know anything about? Sure. Whatever. I mean, they look a hell of a lot cooler here than in The Witcher, I have to say. At least in The Witcher 1. I think they're in The Witcher 3 as well, but I, I don't remember what they look like in The Witcher 3. In The Witcher 1, they're just sort of like little ghostly dogs. At least here, there's a little bit of like, oh shit, they tried. <laughs> there we go. As the tree roots into the earth, the tendrils of thoughts twist to the soul. As the fire renews the field, <laughs> that the birthing the labors produce every time. the fall. As the mantis climbs to his mate, the heart outstretched to her fair hand. As the hunter kills its prey, Beside this hill, he crafts from sand. What the fuck does any of that mean? I don't think we'll ever know, so let's just into, let's do a little bit of grave robbing, shall we? Mm. Beneath lie the remains of how Otrin? I, I imagine it's Otrin. Otrin cult, beloved father and village elder. May Mitharu grant him rest and peace in keeping with the authority's order. 14, 26. Now his Nora Dwer. Hmm. Beneath lie the remains of Nora Duer, taken too soon by the dreaded plague. May Mitharu grant her, grant her rest and peace in keeping with the authority's order, 1489. Oh wow, so these are very, 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 very large amount of years in between. And Trina Algest, wonder why they were buried together, they're not the same family or anything? Beneath lie the remains of Trina Algest, slain by feral stranger. May Mitharu grant her rest and peace in keeping with the authority's order. I guess just because they worshipped Matharu, and it really doesn't seem like a whole lot of people do, despite that seemingly being the only human religion I've come across so far. Oh man! I didn't realize you could like dive into the water and anything and everything. That's fucking cool. Oh, I'm not letting you die to a bogger. That is an embarrassing way to go, my friend. No matter how much plague you happen to bear, Thaddeus. I'll kill you all if I have to. <clears throat> Damn boggart. Wow, you think I look like a bogger? I don't think I could be more insulted. Look at me. Uh, give me a moment. Suddenly, very dizzy. Hmm. Okay, well, what the fuck's going on in this village? Dyden Hill is a haven for those traveling from Gorehart to Galafor. But now, nowhere is safe. Okay, well, what is this sickness? I mean, to be fair, you were just vomited on by a very, very wild boy, literally known as the Plague Bearer. I think we know what the sickness is. It's the blood plague. <coughs> the Bargats carry it. Nearly all of the village has been infected. The amount of times the I've been hit and I don't it, have this shit. But it can weaken a man fiercely. Without a cure, the village won't last much longer. Fine, fine, I guess I'll help out, you pathetic idiots. Who the fuck is Kester Barkley? Where's this come from? I don't th he didn't mention that name, I'm sure of it this time. Dyden Hill's warden. That means he sees to things, keeps us safe and the like. Uh, okay, thanks. That was such necessary information, wasn't it, Thaddeus? Tell me about these boggarts. They're out in droves. I don't know why, 
but Kestemite. He returned from a scouting mission not long ago. What's the problem? As if he didn't already fill our fucking lobes with it the entire goddamn conversation. Aside from the boggarts and blood plague? <coughs> Look, you should turn around and go- You saw how well I stole your kill? Of course I'm not leaving. <coughs> go somewhere safe. This is no place for visitors right now. What can I do to help? Kirsten oh, I'll be going. Amazing. Far better than me. He's in the town square. Go and ask him yourself. You literally just told me to leave, but sure, whatever. What can I do to help? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Goodbye. Talk to you later. Huh. I really like how open-ended this game is. I like that we can just do whatever the fuck we want at whatever point, and it doesn't really get in our way if I want to go to these places before I do the main quest. I'm sure eventually it will start getting in our way, but right now, they've given us a whole fucking chunk of the game right at the start, just free for the exploring Dara, as long as we can survive. I will never be your lover, yet I will make a likeness of your loveliness, Ugh. your sun-kissed face. Your moonlit eyes. Dude, you're building a sex doll. I found a crest of, of someone sand, you know. This isn't okay. Which I will give my love true form. I don't like any of that. I think you're a fae, so it makes it a little bit more romantic, I guess, because you're all magical. But if that was a human doing it, I wouldn't be best pleased. All right, okay. Welcome to Dyden Hill. Are you the dude I need to talk to? You are Kester. They're always just the same old man. Every important fucking village elder and everything is the exact same model of old dude. I'm sorry. There simply isn't any more. It's gone. It sounds like there are two music tracks playing over each other I'm at the sorry, same time for a second. That was horrible. Shield. There's nothing I can do for you or anyone else till I have it. Blasted blood plague. It definitely is. Listen to that. Also, I'm fine. I don't need any of that shit. Tell me about this plague shield, though. Only thing for treating the blood plague. I think I sold you some of mine. The skill to make Oop. It. I certainly can't for all my years as a healer. All right then, Dyden Hill, I guess. Lumpkins, oafs, and busybodies. Except for the <laughs> poor dragon voice sick of ones yours. Here in my care. I suppose they all mean well. Only the airs coming out of these woods have addled their brains. All right, well, tell me more of this blood plague. Normally, I'd say it's not as bad as it sounds. It doesn't kill most of the time, just weakens. Yeah, but when there's only a fucking war the going on, that isn't exactly the best of things, is it? Sooner or later. What is Plague Shield for? Oh, it definitely couldn't be for shielding the plague. Could it? Well, not shielding the plague. That sounds like we're defending it against the fucking medicine menace. But no, no, you're fucking stupid, buddy. If you really need to ask this question. <sighs> and again, you've got amnesia, don't you? I guess you're just going to be incredibly dumb for a very long time it yet. It treats the blood plague, which almost all of Dyden Hill's sick with just now. Brother Fallon should have come with more can't think where he is. You can't think where he is when there's a plague going on and the entire fucking village is getting assaulted by Bogarts the whole time. Do you think he could be dead? Obviously. Fine, I'll go looking for him. Also, why have you gone all like pink and weird? You see that? It looks like, like my thumb is wearing nail polish or something. You have to look at it really good. It happens down there as well. This weird ass like pink glow and there. I don't know, I guess that's just a weird little menu graphical bug. Doesn't really bother me. Good, because the whole village needs that plague shield. So the rest of the Never game doesn't start freaking out. Oh, I need the medicine. Three parcels at least. Go up the road through Glendora Wood that leads to the mission. Bring the plague shield yourself if you must. Oh, I will. Don't you worry, well, Astrid, whoever the fuck you? you are. Right, I've got a lot of different. F no. Let's go local map, because there is a strange amount of shit going on in this one village. Vilrendig at Diden Hill. Discover Camden's fate. Who the fuck's Camden again? I don't know. But I think we should probably start by speaking to Kester, because this village is in dire need of my sexy self. And this guy is the only one who's going to let me help for some fucking reason. Ooh. But not before I steal all of your money. Not that you really have anything. Actually, you literally have nothing. I'm just breaking your storage. 